so cold. Check this out, even better. Ooh, shoot. Damn. That's what I'm talking about, fam. Hold on to your seats. What up fam, welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody is doing well. Guys, I'm excited. I literally just got this this morning. I spoke with DJ Wolf from Subi Bros. He sent me out this care package. Super, super stoked to do this video. I've been waiting on this for a while, but there was no way to do it on these stock mirrors. Yes, Subi Bros made, one of the first to make, I guess, their anti-glare convex mirror with the defroster function the only thing it lacks which they're going to be bringing out in the near future is the blind spot detection but hence that's why they made it as a convex mirror if you notice look at this mirror right here you can barely see you you see in like my body you know objects in the mirror are larger than they appear or closer than they appear look at this one right here you're getting literally my entire body right here. Well, not the entire, but you know, the upper half that I'm talking with. Look at the difference. Look at the difference. You know what I'm saying? So now, in the box, guys, you get, they did really, really good quality controls. They even dumbed this down for you. In the box, you got your stickers for your horsepower and all that stuff. Um, each, this is my left mirror that I took off. Obviously, you saw it from the intro. The stuff works great. Good quality controls. You have your left turn signal. This is the right turn signal. This is what I'm gonna show you how to install. So it's super, super easy for you. And that is really it. They, you know, they give you the mirror. It's a very, very simple install. And let's jump to it right now. As I said, I'm super, super stoked. Such a dope piece. Such a nice little modification, guys. And um, all the stuff is gonna be in a link in the description. And guys, use my name, Wicked Whips, on their website for a percentage off. See y'all soon. All right, guys. So this is the passenger side mirror right here. Things that you're gonna need, a pry tool, Phillips head screwdriver. Super, super easy. Also, I also have, since uh, Subi Bros is one of my sponsors, I also actually have their sequential turn signals with the running light. And I'll show you how that comes into play. First thing you do, turn the mirror this way. Now, once you do this, everything at the end, you're just gonna do backwards. So the first thing you're gonna do, see this niche right here? I really don't need a pry tool because I've taken this off so many times, it's easy for me, but I'll show you anyway. Right here, you pry this off. You take off the bottom first, pop, that comes out, put it aside. Now, turn the mirror this way. Once you turn the mirror this way, take your hands like this, put it under here, and pull up and out. You'll hear some pops, super, super easy. Now, time for the other side. Okay, now we're facing the mirror. I've done this many times. I know some of you guys probably never even touched this. The best thing to do, you turn the mirror this way, but in the interest of showing you, I'll leave it just like this. So this is what you do. First, you push the mirror all the way in like this. Push it in like that. Underneath, you don't really need any tools. What happens is there's two clips that holds like right about somewhere around here that literally clips the mirror in and then there's two hooks up here at the top. So you pull, so you push this all the way in, put your hand underneath, put your hand underneath and you pull forward gently. Once you pull forward gently, the clips, look how they look on the inside. Let me show you real quick. Well, first of all, while it's hanging, I'm gonna show you right here. So this is the, these are the tabs below here, which I'm talking about. See this right here? It plugs in here, it snaps into here, and these hooks right here, they're hooked. They hook in here like so. So that's all there is to it. Now, right here, this is these are your defroster modules or defroster connectors right here. Those you're gonna take out, this right here, you're just gonna 
press this tab right here, unplug this. This is your blind spot detection right here. This wire is not gonna be in use until they bring out their stuff later on. So this is what you're gonna unplug and that's when you're gonna take the mirror off. Once the mirror comes off, two Phillips head screws, one right here, one right here. We're just gonna drop this light to get access to these wires. As I said, guys, once the mirror's hanging like this, carefully unplug, just straight, carefully unplug the defroster function and just remove that wire like so. You press that clip, look, it's very, very simple. Just press the, the inside right here, boop, take it out, your mirror's out. Super, super simple. Then you come around, one Phillips head screw right here. Stuff is child's play, guys, don't be scared. And then one to the bottom. Don't lose these screws. Just let this bad boy hang. I, are, I have the DRL function hooked up, but the actual video, I'll throw that up top and just let it hang like so. Just put the screw somewhere where you can find it. Don't lose it, guys. Put the Phillips head there too. Now, this is the connection for the turn signal. You're gonna disconnect that. Just unplug that like so. There we go. So, take your mirror. Now there are two connectors right here. It's easy to match up guys, don't worry, it won't be confusing. You turn your mirror. Now, what I would suggest to use, right here, some dielectric grease. I have it in the form of Amsoil metal protector. It's freaking great, especially it dispels water and everything. If you don't have that, dielectric grease is fine. Put a little dielectric grease right here and you plug these terminals in. All right, guys, so I'm gonna just flip this mirror out like so, so it makes it easier for you to see. Now, so what you can do, see this one right here? You can just hide that bad boy right in here. We're not gonna be using them. You can just tuck them in, that's cool. Now, got the protector on there. Now you could take these wires right here, route them. See, what you can do, you wanna route them in the back of it. You're not gonna put it in front right here. So if it's turning, you don't want it to pull on the wires. So you can always just put this right back here and just run it through this hole right here. Just run it through like that. Plug your connectors up. Same way you took it off, the same way you plugging it back in, guys. Like really simple. Now what dielectric grease or this metal protector is gonna do, you guys don't realize that your mirror is out here battling the elements. Rain, snow, moisture, the whole nine. So what this does for the connecting points is to dispel any type of water, dust, and keep your contact points proper. You know, you know, most people don't think about it, but it is what it is. Now, what you're gonna do is now, so we got this hooked up in here. We're gonna hook these hooks right here. That is gonna get hooked in here, and then we're gonna push the pins in right there. Same way we took it off, you're just doing everything backwards. You feeling me? That's as simple as that. So we'll run this wire. So as I said again, this wire right here, we're running it back here. So it's not gonna pull on anything. Hook it up like that. So now the top is hooked in, see it? And then you push. You're gonna hear it. There you go. And see now, it snapped in, see? Now you can move it. Now we come to the back. Bring it in just like that. Make it easy for you to work with. Now, as I said, you're just letting this hang right here. Just leave it. Don't worry, this is not too heavy, so you don't have to worry about that. 
All you're doing, plug and play. You're just connecting up some wires, that's it. So you got the hooks right here and it's easy to match up guys, super easy. Just follow the points, one goes in here Now this one right here, what you can do, if you want, you can run this one down like so to make it easy if it's not gonna, it's not gonna work. It has room to fit down here. It's almost there, bam. Run that bad boy down, hook him up, click. You can leave him in here. And this one, you can literally leave both of them right in there. They'll fit. Very, very simple. And all you're doing now is connecting everything back up. Or what you can do is you could take this right here, run this bad boy up here. Trying to show you how to make your life a little, a little bit easy and a little bit neater. Damn you big fingers. Okay. Now once you run this one right up here, plug it in and just tuck this one right here. So now I'll show you. So now once All you right. connect this up. So now, got both Phillips set of screws, one there, one to the bottom. We have the sequential turn signal plug and play up here. We got the turn signal module on the actual mirror right here. We have over here, you can see it right there. That is the blind spot detection that we're not using until a later date. Now, we put everything back on in reverse notice we took out the bottom cap first then the top you put the top back in click 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 it, everything clicks in nice and easy then you put the bottom back in ready click click and that's it we straight, give this bad boy a wipe down because I got fingerprints all over it and I'll be with y'all soon to test it out. All right guys, once you wipe it down, you're in the car, make sure you adjust the mirror before you hit the streets. Adjust it to your likeness, wherever you want to put that. Turn the ignition on. Want to make sure it works. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about right there, man. That shit is freaking fire. Guys, y'all know what to do. Check out Subi Bro's website. Definitely like, subscribe, comment. Tell me what you think. It's a simple, simple install. This will take you literally five minutes per side. Not even, if that. Super, super easy, guys. Look how beautiful this shit is. Man, I love it. Adds, it's such a simple modification and adds so much flair, man. It's so sexy. Look at how beautiful that shit looks. Damn, such a nice piece. Can't wait. Can't wait till they bring uh, do the blind spot detection as well. That's going to be just the whole package right there. And that's it, guys. That's my time. I'll do a couple clips this evening. And I'll see y'all soon. All right, guys. We are in the dark. Just want to show you what's going on here real quick. When this stuff is powered on. Now, as I told you before, earlier in the video, um, everything works fine. Look how beautiful that looks at night. Looks freaking crazy. Love it. Beautiful. That looks freaking splendid, man. Now, this is the anomaly. As I said, this is for the 15 plus WRX and STI. The problem is when you once you start the car, this is what you're gonna see. This is what you are gonna see. You're gonna see that error message right there. 
See, it says check owner's manual. And what does it say? It says BSD RCTA. Blind spot detection, rare cross traffic. Those are the codes. It's gonna show that it's disabled. So I just want you guys to understand and know what you're getting into. You're more than welcome. If these uh, notifications don't bother you, it's all good. If they do, you wait till they get the wait till they get the blind spot detectors. This stuff, I'm just doing the video them for them as a courtesy because they're great, great company, bunch of really good guys, especially DJ over there. And once I'm done with this, then um, I'm gonna get the uh, the ones with the blind spot detection because obviously you guys know I'm freaking OCD and that's how I am. But again, such a freaking dope ass mod. Very, very beautiful. All right, guys, again, that's my time, and I will talk to y'all soon. Peace.